We want to start with Narset. It seemed pretty good when, when it got played against us. You have to be able to cast it. But once you can cast it, it sure does a bunch of work for you. There's a dead weight in the pack. There's a far finder in the pack. Um, mentors have not been great. I think Dorat's pretty good, or whatever it's called, Sprite Dragon. Um, but two colors. I want to start with Farfinder here. Anybody on Narset over Farfinder? I think like putting yourself in three colors right off the bat for a Planeswalker that can't naturally protect itself is dangerous. And other than that, I'd be interested in dead weight somewhat, but I think uh, I think we just start with Farfinder, stay open, see what comes to us. Let the draft let the draft dictate what we do. Farfinder's making our deck no matter what. You think Narset's solid enough? All right, there's dead weight. There's a migratory great horn. Thank you very much for the follow, Popo eight. 82 482. Thank you so much. Appreciate the follows so much, guys. Uh, it helps me a lot. 68 out of 70. We're almost there. If you guys want to hear a song. Uh, all right. I think we're just grabbing dead weight here. There's not much happening with this pack. Ultimatum's pretty hard to cast. Swallow hole is conditional. These creatures are all pretty bad. Um, Migratory Greathorn's pretty good. But I think we'll just grab the dead weight. It's splashable, it's good removal. See what's uh, coming to us. And it hasn't been much in these first few picks, eh? We just grab an Evolving Wilds, and we know our mana's good for the rest of the draft if we do that. There's a Snare Tactician, which is a very strong card in the cycling deck. I'm tempted to take that, actually. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. Mentor's not super exciting. Marshall's okay if we end up in humans, but we don't know that we're there yet. Divine Arrow's okay, not great. Um, hey, you'll follow over a song right on. Averlop, thank you so much for the follow. We've got one more. Can we do it? Can we do it? Snare Tactician, I think, is the pick here. If we start seeing Cyclers, we can try to get into that deck. Nothing else really tickling my fancy here other than Evolving Wilds. So we'll take a bit of a... Take a bit of a flyer here. Uh, I might get paid off. Flourishing Fox um, is in this pack, so we can start to lean into a white cycling based deck. If we don't end up there, maybe we end up in black white humans. Flourishing Fox is a mutate enabler and it cycles away, so we could end up there. Um, it's a bunch of white and red stuff in this pack. Not, not all of it is excellent. There's a blue. Essence Scatter, which is quite good as well. Um, but to follow up Snare Tactician with Flourishing Fox seems pretty good to me. I'm in for it. Fire Prophecy. It's also Grim Dancer. This card's quite good. And Checkpoint Officer is pretty solid as well. I think Fire Prophecy is better than both of these cards, though. And it is good in the cycling deck. Of course. Bit of a red signal, maybe. It's also a Symbiote. Some strong cards. This is a very strong pack. Uncommon, rare, and a couple commons are missing. So this is this is a quite a strong pack. I'm gonna take the red card here as a signal to red. And there's a stinger here for us. And it looks like we're maybe leaning into this uh, red white cycling deck. It's also another finder. Second one's Probably a bunch worse than the first. Channel Force I don't understand still. I haven't seen it be good. Maybe it is. Pretty easy stinger here, I think. With Fox Tactician already in the pile and uh, really good common and fire prophecy. I like stinger here. Um, don't know if we're ready to take one mana cyclers yet, are we? What are, we, what are we sacrificing? We could take Essence Symbiote. That's pretty darn good. As a green spell, we could take Evolving Wilds to fix our mana. 
problem with footfall craters if you don't end up in the cycling deck you're you're, you're not happy with it but there's nothing else here that's really that impressive so if we just lean into this deck maybe it'll force everybody else out of it we've got one quite good payoff we got some other stuff going on I think we can just lean into it here's a Draneth healer so skate protocol doesn't have any synergy for us at the moment um, but man there's definitely a mutate deck here that we could have gotten into as well nothing was cycling in this pack um Dead weight, maybe? It's possible we splash for it. Day Squad Marshall's decent as well. We already got one dead weight. I guess we'll take it. I'm not not really sure there. Nothing with cycling. Maybe we just take this Wolverine. Try to get there. I don't think we're playing Eerie Ultimatum at all. It's possible that Spell Eater Wolverine's the card we want. It's like a bad porcupine, porky whatever card. Uh, we'll take Manta Sword, has cycling for one, and uh, it can get cast as a creature. It's not the worst. Nothing else in this pack any good. Raking Claws might be the next best card. Uh, well, we'll take a land here. Jeez, nobody's on black, eh? We'll take a land. It allows us to maybe splash these dead weights. And uh, we'll take another land. Maybe splash these dead weights. Perimeter Sergeant can play a role in this deck for us. Cathartic Reunion. I don't know if it really fits, but maybe. Okay, Unpredictable Cyclone. Get you free stuff. It has cycling. It's also Reptilian Reflection. Which I think I like more. It's possible this wheels too, because it's not very good if you're not dedicated cycling. Um, so go for blood's pretty good. Let's try the reflection. We've got one, two, three, four one mana cyclers, five one mana cyclers. I think we can make reflection work. We're definitely red-white. We might not splash black. We might, we might not. We'll see. Uh, Valiant Rescuer is pretty important to this deck. I think it's better than Pacifism. I'm liking Pacifism less and less as this format's gone on. Porky Parrot's obviously sweet, but with the with what we're trying to do cycling-wise, Valiant Rescuer is where it's at. Uh, we wouldn't mind a Marmoset either. But this is one of the better cards to be taking for this deck. Another pacifism, or we just grab Draneth Stinger as another cycler. Um, that feels a little bit closer. But we just picked up a Reflection and a Rescuer. I think we just need all the uh, cyclers we can get our hands on here. But uh, this does feel close. Wouldn't be wouldn't be shocked if pacifism is what we're supposed to take there, but I just haven't been impressed with it. I think it's I think it's not that good in this format. Ooh, fire prophecy or Moloch. It's <sighs> tough. Moloch's obviously excellent for us, but so is fire prophecy. We're we're in need of removal. We might be able to get Moloch back um, if we're the only ones drafting this deck. There's also a Lava Serpent. I think we need the, we need the removal badly enough that we should just take the Fire, fire Prophecy, though. All right, Go for Blood looks pretty good here. For one, sometimes it removes something. He likes Stinger, and they're so good in multiples. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's a payoff, and it's an enabler. And with what we've got going on, I think we... We need to slant our picks pretty highly. Down for a go for blood here. Don't really want to play Cathartic Reunion. I tried it the other day in this deck and it was not very good. Not really anything for us here, eh? 
I guess uh, we'll just take this Halbonder. I don't think we want Garrison Cat. Nothing that cycles. So yeah, we'll take the take the on color uncommon. It's not not likely to make the deck though. We we hope it doesn't. We hope we do a little bit better than that. Uh, we can play Blade Banish in this deck. Nothing that cycles. We are in need of removal in a small way here. I think it's better than Marshall, Perimeter Sergeant. Both are pretty unexciting. We'll take the Blade Banish. We'll see where we get to with it. Okay, card with cycling is good for us. Um, none of these cards fit what we're trying to do, so pretty easy. And now we can grab a Day Squad Marshal over Heightened Reflexes. We've got a combat trick already. Um, there is a one mana cycler here, but I think we need the creature a little bit more. That's close though. That might we might be supposed to take the the one mana cycler in that in that situation. Doesn't look like Moloch's coming back to us. Guess we'll take a heightened reflexes. Probably won't play it. We would like to see a Zenith Flare. That'd be a big one. Moloch coming back would be pretty excellent for us. Um, what else do we need to see? Thing that Lightning Helix's stuff would be good. Even the the Mutator that um, that pumps your team might be okay. We, we look like we might be able to go wide a little bit with Day Squad and Rescuer. So like Coordinated Charge would be good in this deck. Maybe the Mutator. We've got a Fl Flourishing Fox and it's kind of it in terms of I'll get the Wolverine. We've got a Farfinder in terms of stuff we could mutate onto. Frill Scare Mentor or Patagia Tiger. Uh, Frill Scare Mentor with the uh, Howl Bonder's not bad. I'm not super interested in a five drop. So I think we'll take the Mentor. Not excited about either of those cards, but I think the Mentor fits a little tiny bit better. Solid footing, we're not gonna play, but we'll just cut white. Come on, Moloch. Was it in this pack? I think it might have been. Want the Moloch back. Have not played any best of, th of three yet, uh, Some Delicious Guy. Uh, have you been, you've been exclusively playing best of three? I'm trying really hard to rank up. I would love to hit Mythic this month. That would, that would make me happy. It's gonna be hard to do, but I'm gonna try. Exclusively, yeah. I'm a, I, I mean, I was all all the way best of three last month. Um, I think the EV is better in best of one, but it seems to be uh, there seems to be conflicting opinions on that. Just and in, in, you know, going uh, going five and three seems easier than going three and zero. Oh. All right, we got a planeswalker. We probably just take it. There's a Dranith healer. That's it. So, yeah, we'll just take the Planeswalker. What does this even do? Exile the top three. You can cast creatures with it. Or you can exile target creature. This is not great in our deck. Once you start winning more than 60% of your game's not matches. Okay, and we're at, I think this one you need to go 62 and a half to, uh, Always loyal. I don't know if this guy's that good for us, but we'll, we'll try him out. Uh, another reflection seems pretty nice. We don't have a ton, ton, ton of cyclers. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little light on three drop cyclers. Seven, eight, nine. I think we still take reflection and just pretty much take anything that says cycling. 
possible we want go for blood here instead. There's a go for blood. Pretty happy to pick that up. Don't see any other thing we would want here. Okay, there's a Lord Dracus. Can return uh, instance or sorceries. We're not really a mutate deck though. So we probably just need to take the, the go for blood as another one mana cycler to enable all our shenanigans here. And we've already got double day squad marshal. Don't need more of those, I don't think. So maybe we just take memory leak here. There's tentative connection. We also might want to just play a random giant creature to search for with uh, Luca, right? Because the best we're doing right now is a 3-6 Vigilance, which is not all that. Don't like Momentum Rumbler all that much. Um, probably just take Shredded Sails or another Go for Blood. I already have triple go for blood. We have so many cycling payoffs. I think the one mana cycling is, is pretty important. And here's a coordinated charge. So we're we're way into this deck here. Can we can we make it happen and build it in a way that works? We'll find out. The first time I drafted it, it was pretty good, but it wasn't like totally busted. Draineth healer, sure. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. We need two drops pretty badly. Probably cut the uh, dead weights. Probably cut this Hellbonder. Probably cut this Mentor. Perimeter Sergeant might be playable. It's not very good, but we do have a lot of humans, and we're going to be making extra humans. Uh, nothing here for us, but we can pick up an Evolving Wilds, which is pretty nice. That'll help us play, uh, help us fix uh, color. Yeah, the Prickly Marrow set's really, it's just a good card. It, it's, I think it's a pretty high pick, right? Nothing here we care about. Uh, literally just nothing for us here. All right, there's Cathartic Reunion. There's another Wilds. There's a Wingfold Pterodon if we want something big to search with this. Probably not worth it, though. We'll just take another Wilds. We could play two Wilds. Maybe. We're also trying to cut lands, right? So... The numbers I'm hearing is for every three one mana cyclers you have, you can cut a land. Anybody else up on the math for that? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve. So we could play. 13 lands potentially in this deck. So I think we can maybe cut this Will of the All Hunter. Coordinated charge is probably gonna work. So we're gonna cut some lands. Let's cut let's cut oh we don't want to play too many evolving wilds either. Um so right now we're at 14 land. So we just cut another land. This is our deck. Our three drops are a little awkward. We don't really want Farfinder in this deck. Twelve lands. Do I hear ten? <laughs> um, Twelve lands? Can we really do that? That seems extreme to me. 
We'd rather have Frill Scare Mentor than Farfinder in this particular deck. Although it doesn't really put uh, a menace counter on much. Thirteen lands, we got a lot of threes. We do have a five we want to get to, but we're not we're not like super super needing to cast Luca to win our games. I think I'm down to try this. One, two, three, four. You know, how many cyclers do we have? Can it just tell us? No, of course not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, seventeen cards with cycling. A bunch of them have uh, a bunch of them have one cost. Yeah, I'm not really sure, some delicious, how you're how you're supposed to get into this deck because you start p picking cards that are kind of bad, and uh, excuse me, if you do that too early. You get yourself into trouble. All right, I think we try it like this. Although maybe we want Halbonder instead of Mentor, but double red's kind of tough with it in a 13 land deck. Don't think Garrison Cat's what we're interested in. I don't like. I didn't like Cathartic Reunion last time. It always just ended up being the last card in my hand. Haven't had success with cycling yet. More of a five color control. Well, we just did that. That was sweet. Five color control. Okay. Pretty even on colors here. So yeah, we're just going to give this a shot. I wonder what would have happened if we'd started with Narset. Would Narset have made it into the deck? All right. Uh, sure, I guess we'll, we'll definitely keep this. Start with Evolving Wilds, I guess for a mountain. Each creature card is a cat, elemental nightmare, or beast. And I'll get plus one, plus one. Let's let them resolve this before they find out that we're red. This could be interesting. So I think we want to fire prophecy that. Um, do we want to put a card into our library? Could cycle away the frill scare mentor. Doesn't look like it's gonna really fit. Uh, we'll hold on to Draineth Healer because next turn we can play Reptilian Reflection and cycle it. They got a 3 2 Vigilance. No problem. Do we attack for two? I think we do. Yeah, because they may not even block. So we've got plus two, plus two as a trick, and we've got Footfall Creator to activate the Reptilian Reflection. Gives everything vigilance, eh? All right, so if we cycle the crater, we could fight Kahira and attack. So that'll be a 2-2. Two, two. This will have three damage on it. So we could also pump it and save it. Do we have enough mana to do all that? Yes.
All right. This is a useful demo of how powerful reptilian reflection is. Yeah, it looked real good in that game. Pretty cool that you can play it on turn four and immediately activate it if you have uh, a one mana cycler in four lands. I think this is a mulligan. We've got no cycling cards and no payoffs. We've got the, some of the worst cards in our deck in our hand. I think we're gonna, gonna mull. Yeah, this is fine. We need to find red, but that's the way it goes. I think we can pitch, uh, we'll pitch a land. And I guess we'll just pass the turn. Cycle into their turn. Yeah, we need to find red pretty badly, but we got a lot of chances. The Lords. Yeah, I listened to their first episode. It was great. Definitely gave some, uh, some direction as to what you're supposed to be looking for. I think I was definitely uh, not valuing the synergy cards hard enough and not thinking about deck building enough. I think we'll cycle go for blood here as they don't have great targets for it. We are still looking for lands and stuff. Okay, there's a land, so we'll play Rescuer. Play a land, we can cycle Dranith Stinger and uh, blocks of Eye Sabertooth if they attack with it. Still don't have um, red mana. Play Snare Tactician. Pass the turn. So now we're getting to tap down something and make a dude every time we cycle. So if we cycle, I guess these both cost two mana to cycle, so we're, we're not likely to be able to. I guess if we cycle Coordinated Charge. We might hit a land to be able to cast Will, but... I think it's more likely that Charge is what we want. We're going to make a lot of 1-1s with this thing. I'll tap main Serval. Make a 1-1. There's a red source. That's pretty sweet. Get in for 2. Pretty easy chump block here, I think, for our opponent. They just keep getting... we got a lot of, of one ones to work through. Don't think we want to cycle charge. I think we want to hopefully draw a land, play reflection, and cycle charge. If we don't draw a land, we can play day squad marshal, and then charge gets better as just an actual spell. And we're down to take some damage here. Serval comes in for free. I don't see why they don't do that. Okay, Prophecy. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really do anything for us at the moment. Do we want to get Reflection down, or do we play Day Squad Marshal and use up all our mana? Play Reflection, and we cycle Coordinated Charge to it. I don't really want to cycle Coordinated Charge. We're going to have, a hopefully, a big board presence. I think we just play Marshall. And now if we draw a land... Okay, well, fair enough. Our opponent's been stuck on two for a while, so that's, that's definitely helping us. Pacifism is fine. Not a creature we wanted to attack or block with much anyways. <clears throat> Let's try this again. So we draw the land. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 15 total damage if they don't block anything. Ooh, greasy. Kind of down to just double block that. They only get to kill one thing. Yeah, we lose Snare Tactician potentially, but they lose two of theirs. We're gonna take the Marshal down instead, which is pretty good for us. Um... Guess we just play Reflection. Hold up Fire Prophecy. Oh, we could have cycled Charge, actually. That was pretty bad. Probably should have just cycled Charge and Attack. Whoops. Do I have a link to my untapped.gg profile? No. <laughs> Do I, how do I know that I even have one of those? Do I have to have one to get cardboard live? That's, that's what that's for, right? That's true, Wind Raven. We could just wait till next turn, play Reflection and uh, Cycle Charge, attack for 10. That's, that's, that's cool. That makes you feel better. <laughs> Opponent's been stuck on two lands this whole game. I, I think this was not a very good draw. And we'd be in a pretty rough spot if they were doing things. Although they have been casting a lot of spells. Okay, can't fire prophecy that, so let's not make that mistake. I use, uh... I use Cardboard Live. Is that the same thing? All right, so this turn we're gonna be, yeah, casting reflection, cycling charge, tapping storm wild, and just jamming. Trigger, 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 trigger. Tap. Yes, yes. Just attack with all, I think. Lose a couple tokens, but they're taking 12 damage if they do that. Opponent casts Light of Hope, gains four. Keep lands for prophecy. Good call. Yeah, my bad. All right, opponent's seen enough. <clears throat> good call, good call. We go first. We got a couple of one mana cyclers. We got a healer we can cast. We're kind of we we're kind of needing red here. Um, needing red pretty bad. Luca is unlikely to get cast this game. I think we can keep. It's a little bit awkward, but we can put Luca away with Fire Prophecy if it's not looking like he's going to be effective. Assuming we hit some red mana. Mulliganing with this deck is tricky. I'm definitely not experienced in it at all. I'm not good with percentages off the top of my head, so... This is definitely the kind of deck the pros are going to love to draft, especially the ones that that know the math super well. Because this just pays, pays you off for just being smarter than everybody else. <clears throat> so Recycle Go for Blood first. Their opponent's green, so their creatures are likely to be pretty large. 
play a healer. I land. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll just get in for two. Just play a, play a creature game for now. Hope to find some red here. And we do in a roundabout way. Opponent's all stuck on two mana. We're attacking for six. This is a three turn clock. Next turn we've got Reflection and Cycle. That'll be pretty nice. Opponent gains a life. They probably don't have anything. Okay, I think this game's pretty well over then. Yeah. Wow. Well, when your opponents don't do anything, your deck, your deck always looks pretty good, so... I don't want to take too much stock in that, but this deck closes quick. Which is nice in a format where people are trying to splash and do big things. We go first, we've got two one mana cyclers, but then we've got a bunch of cards that we can't really cast. I think this is a mulligan. If we don't hit red, we might just get stuck, right? If we had like a 2-2, two -two, like the Dranith healer or something, if this was Dranith healer, we would want to keep it, but this feels like a mull to me. Does anybody else agree with that, or do you think we're we're keeping this. I have very little experience with this deck. I don't like that we're on the play. I don't like mulliganing on the play. That's the other thing. That's if this was a draw hand situation, I would uh, I'd want to keep. You would keep it and be sad. <laughs> I don't want to be sad. If we hit the first planes, we get an, another one to cycle. If we hit mountain early, we're going to be pretty happy. But we've only got six in the deck. So that's pretty unlikely. I think we're mulliganing. Oh no. You think you keep those hands? That's just what you sign up for. Yeah, well, there's probably there's always potential of this happening when you mulligan, right? Okay, we'll keep five. We got both our colors. Put blade banish back for sure. We'll put a land back. Yeah, fair enough, guys. Fair enough. Might want to cycle coordinated charge here. It's unlikely we're ever casting it. We need to dig towards our. Uh, you wanted me to keep because you like the suspense. Ooh, I hate the suspense. I'm trying to draw lands. Woof. Well, we got the answer to that. So let's attack. <clears throat> if they don't have a follow up play here, we. Well, we're in a pretty good spot, but if they go ahead and mutate, it's pretty great. Oh, Slender Mare is pretty good, yeah. So if we draw land, 
we could will the all hunter. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, now we're just gonna have to two for one ourselves, I think. This is now dealing five. <clears throat> they don't even need to block. That's the problem with this, this line. Two for two, that's true, yeah. That was awkward. Maybe we shouldn't have attacked and just held back to block with Will the All Hunter. I just don't like defensive combat tricks very much. But we're in a bit of a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? Guess we just these gopher bloods are never gonna never gonna matter, right? So just keep trying to hit land drops. Or maybe that maybe there we just hold up fire prophecy actually. That might have been misplay as well. This deck's a lot harder to play when you're behind. <laughs> We're discovering. There's a stinger. They've got a glider. We could go rescuer, cycle, stinger, make a 1 1 to block. I think we're just down to pass, though. Fire Prophecy. Um, on the Goriak with Dranith Healer. Or we play Rescuer. That's a double block at least. I kind of need Fire Prophecy to kill this glider, don't I? Maybe we just play Rescuer then. Double block Goriax, cycle Dranith Stinger, make a 1-1. One, one. Bit awkward. I think I've made some missteps this game. Looks like they've got the uh, removal spell here, which is pretty annoying. Let's get another 1-1 one, one out of the deal, though. Gain a life. Keep getting through our deck. And we're probably needing to chump. But... Let's see, that's 8 damage. If we can fire prophecy on... The glider next turn put back put like I guess a day squad marshal under draw an untapped land then we've got the triple block for the Goriak with the will of the all hunter 
If we just draw a land next turn, we could play Day Squad Marshal. That does set us up for the for the triple block as well. So maybe we just we are taking uh, taking four off of Weg. We're taking six already here. We may have to kill the Weg with the Fire Prophecy actually. And we're not gonna go for the uh, pump. Oh boy. All right, I think this one's a little out of reach here. We kind of just mulled the five and didn't get there. Drew too many uh, bricks. It's just the the way she goes. All right, well, we can still live, I think. But, uh, yeah, this is rough. This is eight, so we have to chump. They could have tapped our blocker potentially and killed us. Alrighty. We did, we did. Miss missed uh misplayed a bit that game and, and mulliganed into a bad situation. I think I could have definitely played more optimally. There was a window there to maybe kill that five five where we just didn't do it. Just trying to cycle and hit land drops. Which sometimes you just gotta take the riskier plays to get yourself into a spot where you can actually win the game, but uh, that'd be an interesting one to watch again and see. Opponent goes first. Uh, I don't like this hand much. I think we keep, though. Don't want to risk mulling into a seven lander. We've got cards we can cast. We've got a charge we can cycle. Frill Scout Mentor could put a menace counter on this reflection. That would, ha that would hang around. But this is not a good draw, I don't think. Let's see what our opponent does here. Do we want to? save the cyclers for reflection triggers or do we want to uh i guess putting a perimeter sergeant into play next turn doesn't really do anything so our plan is to cast reptilian reflection which the only thing i'm thinking is if we cycle a two mana card and get a one mana cycler we could play sergeant next turn and then go from there but we don't even know that we're going to hit uh a land either so i think we just hold our cyclers here for those reasons, we can't use Fire Prophecy on that uh, cap Rador, so we'll play Reptilian Reflection, start cycling stuff. Luca's pretty bad in this deck, to be sure. If we hit a one mana cycler, we can activate that and then cast Frill Scare Mentor. We didn't, uh, so we'll cycle charge, I guess. Since Will of the All Hunter still has some play for us, we did hit a land drop.
So we got Fire Prophecy. Hopefully, we can kill something of theirs. We'll take two. We're good with that. Play something we can kill. Rats. Fire Prophecy is so bad. So bad. All right, uh, we can cast, or we can cycle memory leak and play mentor on the reflection. But if they double block, then we're in trouble. So I guess we'll just cycle memory leak to start. Will the all hunter can get get busy on frontland Philidar if we want. Attack for five. They don't bother blocking, makes sense for sure. Because now they've just got uh, the ability to tap stuff down. With the main servo. So. Suppose we just play Day Squad Marshal here. Next turn we can play Luca and just try to planeswalker them to death. But this frontline Felidar guy is a big problem for us. Points a ten though, so if if they overextend, we could potentially get them out of nowhere. <clears throat> right, tap her stuff down. So we're taking five here. Granite Stinger's kind of interesting. So they can tap Reflection. We play Dranith Stinger. Problem is we don't have enough mana to cycle uh, and use Will of the All Hunter. So we kind of got to cycle Dranith Stinger in order to get the reflection going. We're at 10. They tap it down. We attack. If they don't block, they go to 6. And then we follow up with, I guess, like Perimeter Sergeant. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Even if they have a pump spell, we can finish it off with Fire Prophecy.
All right. Well, that was a bit lucky for us. Hopefully we can uh, keep the beats coming here. Hopefully they play something we can kill with Fire Prophecy. I don't think Luca's making an appearance this game. Yeah, Reptilian Reflection plus the Fight Spell is quite powerful, eh? Yeah, that works. We can, we're happy to just kill that, I guess. Or that, more likely. Do we want to bottom Luca, or is it potentially a win condition for us? Reflection's gonna have trample, so if they don't block it properly, we can kill it with Will of the All Hunter. Although we have to cycle Will of the All Hunter to turn it on. Five mana. I don't think we want... I think the card we want the least is maybe just the Mentor. Or maybe... I mean, maybe Luke is not that bad. Because we could sack this Marshall and get, like, another one or something. Or get a, get a giant thing. Yeah, we'll put the Mentor away. Oh, there's the Vantasaur we would have gotten with Luca. But that allows us to... Uh, cycle and turn this guy on, so let's start there. And can we play... We can't play Tactician and Cycle. That would work pretty well. So we'll just get in with everything here. Okay, so that soaks up five damage, and then uh, Will of the All Hunter plus two plus two, so that's gonna be lethal. We pulled it out, we pulled it out. Yeah, I think I was just missing that we had lethal that whole time. A lot of, th a lot of things to think about with this deck, eh? Okay, we go first. We've got a one mana cycler. These day squad marshals are so bad in this deck. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep. Pro tip don't play day squad marshal in your cycling deck, it stinks. Probably don't want to cycle crater since we have reflection. Double reflection's pretty good too. We might cycle the charge though, try to hit a land. Probably that's what we need to do. All right, a little bit lucky there. If we hit another land, this is gonna be insane because we get to go reflection, crater, swing for 10 on turn four, no less. So let's pray for a land here. No such luck. Uh, but we do get to go rescue or crater, which I think is a little bit better than playing the second reflection. Hope to continue to hit some uh, cyclers here. These marshals are just about the worst. This thing's pretty sick. Land is okay, but we don't get to turn on our thing this turn, do we? Trumpeting Nar. Well, they're not gonna wanna block. So this gives us a turn to either just play um, our second reflection or our marshal. Or snare tactician might be the play as well because we could tap down whatever they uh, put on this. This is going to be a tough game to win.
I think we need to play the tactician. Let's get in for three. Pretty happy with a trade here. This thing is very good. Waiting, waiting on the opponent here. All right, let's do a giveaway while we're waiting on the opponent. Uh, guess the card, get the code. Thinking of a green creature, casting cost one G. Green creature. Costs one and a green to cast. Total two mana. Okay, this is a little bit unfortunate if our opponent's uh, disconnected. I think it's still correct to play the sergeant. Uh, they could. Oh, sorry. I meant the snare tactician. I meant the snare tactician. This guy's not the worst. I mean, it does push our board a bit. Uh, meant to play the snare tactician. My mistake. Uh, green creature, one and a green for a 1-1. One, one. It's rare. It's older, it's an older card. Okay, your opponent is still connected. Yeah, I didn't, didn't want to play the sergeant there. I wanted to play the tactician so that we could hopefully cycle something in top down uh, their blocker and uh, open up a big attack. Sadly, we're not doing that. Does look like they have a mutator though, which is pretty good for us. Dead weight's an uh, definitely annoying. Definitely annoying. <clears throat> Still really would like to get this gnar off the battlefield, wouldn't we? Um, We'll attack for three here. If we trade with Mole, that's okay. If we deal them damage, that's even better. And I mean, now that we do have Sergeant in play, we'll play Day Squad Marshal. If we draw a Cycler, we can cast Snare Tactician and Cycle to tap. If they start making three threes, it's gonna make our lives pretty difficult. Any guesses for one and a green, one, one, rare? It has shroud. It has shroud. Um, I guess we... Tactician cycle healer, or do we... Reflection cycle healer. Reflection cycling healer is more damage. Is it not? Well, we don't get to tap one of their things. So they get to eat our 1-1s one if they want, but then they're taking like a million damage. So yeah, I think we just play Reflection here. Get the value. Attack with all. Lurking Deadeye, all right. It's, that kills a reflection, but they're still taking some trample damage. And we're taking care of their whole board here, so this is pretty good. This might still be lethal. It is. Sweet. That was pretty huge. Double reflection. 
But luckily for us, they weren't able to mutate. I wouldn't mind seeing if there's something we can do about these day squad marshals just being the absolute worst. Would we rather play like heightened reflexes over one of them? Height reflexes not having cycling is a bit tricky though. We just don't really have anything else to do in this deck. It's just so bad when we draw these more expensive cards. Let's try a single reflexes instead. Okay, we go first, we got no lands, so we'll be mulliganing that. And this hand's pretty good. We got a two drop, we got a cycler, we got a removal spell, we got a payoff. So we can just put uh, Evolving Wilds back, or we can put a Planes back. Yeah, I guess we'll put the Planes back. Get a Planes with uh, Evolving Wilds. Lower our land count a little tiny bit. <clears throat> Planes Rescuer on two Probably just reflection on three now that we have the land for it Opponent cycles If we get the free attack in here And I mean, if we get to fire prophecy something, this, this is going to be real good for us. Oh yeah, we do. Nice indeed. Well, despite us doing our best to lower our land count with uh, Evolving Wilds, we're still kind of flooding out. Our opponent is a little mana screwed themselves. And uh, that's it. Don't even need to show them the Cycler. Okay, opponent goes first. We got a one mana Cycler. We got some bad cards. Uh, I mean, this is a begrudgingly keepable hand. It's not good, but we've got lands and spells. We've got to kind of go for it here. Um, do we want to cycle Draneth Healer or not? I don't think so. I think we'd like to play it on turn two. Opponents on the cycling deck as well. Our final boss here is the mirror match. And seems like they have a better draw than us. Although they don't have a two drop to play. Boy, that's a nice one. Draneth Stinger. Next turn we can sheepishly sheepishly play our Frill Scare Mentor. I guess that's the best we're gonna be able to do. We've got a combat trick so we can attack if they don't have a creature here. Uh, or even if they do have a creature rather, we can still attack them. They can attack us back of course. Alright, play this Mentor. It's pretty bad, but whatever. Still got power and toughness. Valiant Rescuer is pretty good. I 
So are we going to use Will of the All Hunter and Go for Blood to try to kill the Rescuer, or are we just going to play Day Squad Marshal and let them make tokens if that's what they want to do? Or we can play Dranith Healer and put Will on it as a blocker. That's kind of interesting. Kind of into that plan, actually. <clears throat> it's a little bit risky, but it gives us a 4-4, four, four, which is bigger than everything they've got, and then we can go for blood uh, after the fact. I'm gonna try this. This is a bit risky, I think, but there's definitely two for one potential here. Fire Prophecy wrecks us. Oh, it had double strike anyways. Right, I thought it gained first strike only. That was kind of bad. Still two for one for them. Whoops. Uh, so we don't get to do what I wanted. Uh, I guess we'll just play Day Squad Marshal. And... Don't really want to attack. Especially when we have coordinated charge in hand. We can attack for a lot of damage with it. If we draw an untapped land. That'll be the move. If not, um, I don't know. We're in a bit of we're in a bit of trouble here with this valiant rescuer our opponent has. <clears throat> Oh geez. Well, we have an answer to that at least. So we'll take five. Could attack for three. They could trade three tokens for our marshal. I don't mind that a ton. It's possible they don't block. All right, they're gonna go for it here, it looks like. I guess we'll wait to, uh, Show them Blade Banish. So that's a big old Wolverine. Oh, nice. Fire Prophecy for us, though. Unfortunately, we can't go for Blood and Fire Prophecy this turn. Let's 
do we want to put the charge underneath try to hit a mountain because we could go for blood our token versus their rescuer and we'd actually be in a pretty good spot but that's we're fairly unlikely to hit I mean I guess there's better things we can be doing anyways um Okay, let's attack with the Mentor. We're down to trade it for... Uh, both air creatures are better than it, so we're down to trade it. Okay. And uh, let's pass the turn. Oh, jeez. That's good. That's real good. Definitely blocking. They have a cycler in hand as well. Jeez. And it gives first strike. Are you kidding? <clears throat> Make two one ones. This is gross. How did they end up with all those cards? <laughs> Alrighty, well, looking looking pretty dead here. Um, we'll cycle Vantasaur, I guess. Not likely to be casting it. Okay, I guess we play the fox. Fight the stinger at the rescuer. Since we can't beat the first striker. We've got go for blood on the cycle to make flourishing fox a little bit bigger. But uh, this this one's pretty well out of reach for us. It's too many uh too many good payoffs on their end and not enough on ours. And uh, we that, that pump spell turn was uh, pretty awful for me. Shouldn't have tried to do that. This deck's real hard to play when you're behind. Yeah. Nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to one. So this, this one's over. Ooh. Disappointing. This hand's weird. Um, I think we can keep it, though. Fire Prophecy and multiple threats. It's not a very good hand, but it does stuff. And mulliganing is pretty risky, as we've seen. You can end up with no landers. So depending on what we draw in the next couple turns, is going to inform which one of these three drops we want to play. very easily bottom a land if we uh, have a Fire Prophecy target this turn. If we don't draw a Cycler next turn... Um, probably want to play Perimeter Sergeant first. Is this going to have the uh, least utility later in the game? And if we draw one mana cycler, we can play uh, Reflection. Uh, we can definitely wait to play Reflection next turn. I think we'll still just play Sergeant here. We don't know. <clears throat> we don't know for sure that we're gonna draw a cycler off the top of any means. 
It's a little bit awkward though because um, if we draw a two mana cycler, we don't really get to do anything the next turn. All right, well, Evolving Wild, so we'll play, we can just play Wolverine, I guess. Next, Cause then we're gonna have enough mana to go Reflection Cycle no matter what happens. So yeah, let's do that. Jam for three. And uh, we need to make sure we find a land with this on their turn, not forget. Evolving Wilds. Get, get a mountain, I guess, doesn't really matter. One has got a parrot. It's annoying. Uh, the will of the owl hunter does help. Again, kind of awkward. But yeah, let's go for that. they don't block, we can play Re Reptilian Reflection and actually threaten to block with it uh, by cycling the will, but we're definitely going to just use will here. Parrot's pretty powerful. want to get it off the board. And uh, we'll play Reflection. If we draw a cycling instant or sorcery, we can cast Fire Prophecy and Cycle and give this thing double strike, which may end up mattering. <clears throat> so, I mean, when we draw the good half of our deck, life is good. Otherwise, uh, not the best. Okay, so we'll cycle go for blood here. Get reflection going. And uh, all we have to do is not attack with perimeter sergeant. Let's see. If they don't, well, if they block sergeant, Wolverine, we could do six damage. They could take, a, take a, as much as 11 damage off of this fire prophecy if they want to block sergeant. Do we want to do that? They're one away from being able to mutate the mammoth. Yeah, I guess I'm down for this. It's a two for one in their favor. Or not mutate the mammoth, just straight up cast it. But if they do, if they block the Wolverine like this, this is really good for us because we get to uh, get to fire prophecy it and then first strike it down. All right, so we go to six, and they're gonna gain four next turn, up to 10. We're not gonna have lethal, I don't think, because they can block the Wolverine and take eight and trade with it, or they can eat reflection, reflection take nine down to one. So if we draw Dranith Stinger, they're dead. Uh, does Gopher Blood do anything? No. We could cycle it. They could have a Sandworm coming down next turn. <clears throat> We can put them to one. If they don't block Wolverine, they, they die. So they either trade with Wolverine or they eat Reflection. I, I would imagine they want to eat the Reflection. This is 7-7. Seven, seven. Might be a little bit better for us to keep the fight spell. Oh, well, 
makes things easy. How lucky. Alright, heck yeah. Seven and two, we we did it, guys. Very cool. Alright.